If there's anything, honestly, that I've been impressed with, it's how fast he can turn the pages. What's up, guys? I'm a four-time USA memory champion, so I know a little bit about how memory feats work, how plausible they can be, what's actually possible, and what's not. So I figured in this video, we could take a look at some of the stuff that's posted out on the interwebs and judge it. I'll give my critique on it, whether it's good or bad or fake or real. We'll see. I've seen a lot of things over the years and it's been a mix of both. Some looks really impressive, it's not, but they are using memory techniques. Other situations, it looks insane, but it's absolutely false and fake. So let's have a look at some of the videos that you guys have shared with me over the years and see what I think about them. Let's dive in. All right, let's start with a little harmless one here. This is Senator Al Franken, who can draw from memory the entire US map, all the states, all 50 states. That's pretty impressive. I guess I could draw it from memory, but it wouldn't be very good. Yeah, I don't know. I'd love to try that. Um, yeah, it would look pretty bad. And I'm a pretty good drawer, so curious to see this. Let's see, okay, this video is sped up here. Oh, but wow. Okay, so he starts with Minnesota. I think he's from Minnesota, so that makes sense. Pretty impressive. I guess the hard part here is, you know, you may start with kind of some good outlines of the first initial states, but as you add them all together, you're gonna veer further and further away from what the US actually looks like because you know it's hard to judge where you're putting everything compared to the whole map. But this is pretty good. You can see some of the states there in the top right are kind of obviously he's not memorized the exact border. This is pretty good. Okay. Yeah the hard part is over. Now he's got California and the, okay, that's a weird Alaska. All right, well, let's back up there and let's pause this video. Yeah, that's a pretty good USA map. I consider this 100% legit, but I wonder if it's just something that he's practiced over the years. I could see this being something that you get better at with practice. Cool, way to go, Al Franken. Very impressed. Let's hear it. I'm gonna pause it for a second. I can't even understand a single number being said there. Is this in English? I think I heard a zero there. This is bad. Let me start again. Maybe, can I hear? Hang on. Okay, I definitely heard a three point at the very beginning. But, you know, look, I don't doubt that this kid has memorized 500 digits. That's not too hard. I think he could probably do that but I'm not a big fan of these speed records when it comes to reciting information because obviously you get to the limit on how fast you can speak the information and then eventually becomes something like this where you gotta, are we, does it have to be understood and articulated? Because if not, then how do you friggin' judge this? So um, I don't wanna diss little kid, but man, that's pretty, that's, that's a bad record, sorry. You wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> Now this is done by someone I know very well, Shajir. He's a Mongolian heck of a memorizer and he's been able to memorize a deck of cards in 12.74 seconds. Let's have a look. He did this in 2018 at the Korean Memory Championships. 
So the way this works in competition is you have a shuffle deck. It's been pre-shuffled by judges in the back. You have a timer, you pick it up, the timer goes. However long you look at it is how you're scored. And then afterwards you have to reconstruct that deck to get the full credit. All right, so here it goes. One, two, three, four, it's crazy. Nuts, that's so fast. <laughs> and this, this is filmed all in one take. It is 100% legit. At these competitions, they have judges that will verify everything. Um, there are even cameras to make sure that people aren't cheating. So it's all verified, very, um, very legit standards here. So here, they've cut to where he's put the deck They've cut to where he's put the other deck in the same order and now they're comparing the cards. If there's no mistakes, they all match, then he's done it perfect, which he did. Very impressive. Not sure what the next best time is. I believe it's maybe 13 something, but yeah, that was amazing. That is how you memorize a deck of cards, my friends. Oh, the Rubik's Cube blindfolded three by three world record, which is what? 15.5 seconds, and that includes memorization. So time starts when you pick up the cube to memorize it, and then you put your blindfold on and solve it, all within that time span. So 15 seconds, almost 16 seconds to do all of that. That's nuts. Let's see this guy. I've never seen this before. Quarters look good. Six wow. second memo, low That's six mile memo. He's not pausing at all. Wow. Oh my that is god! Absolutely absurd. A 15.50 world record single. <laughs> but six seconds to memorize the cube, and then nine seconds, or ten seconds to solve it. That's crazy. Isn't 10 seconds? I mean, I, no, I know the world record's kind of like three or four seconds, but solving a Rubik's Cube in 10 seconds or is already elite. Now you're doing it blindfolded? Are you kidding me? That's nuts. Wow. So there are these crazy records for beating video games. It's called speed running. And one of the classic ones is Mario 64 for Nintendo 64, if you guys remember that. There's all sorts of records and, and categories depending on how you beat the game, with how many stars, all that stuff. And that's with your eyes open. There are apparently blindfolded solves of this. I don't even know how that's done. Let's see, let's fast forward a bit here. Okay, I guess to get there is maybe not too difficult. Just, it's almost a straight line, but still. Okay, now he's in the castle. <sighs> Hang on, he, so I guess you hug the wall, but still you'd have to know not to turn immediately left because there was that edge of the wall. I don't know, is he doing it by sound cues? Okay, this is nuts. Okay, so clearly he used that fence and this sign as cues. Uh, okay, so now he's doing... Okay, well that's unfortunate. So he must have known, or pra I guess he's practiced this a ton, so he knows that in that case two or three backflips sets him up to be in line. But still have. I think this is le this is legit. Obviously, look at his blindfold. But this must have taken a ton of practice. Okay, he missed the. Oh, so how does he come back? How? How does he know? He's got to be doing it by some sound. I don't know. That's crazy. I'm gonna have to come back to this video and, and do something more in depth. This is insane to me. I give it a legit on the Nelsonometer. Damn impressive too. I've been getting so many emails about this guy. 
Um, I don't know, how do I pronounce his name? BJ, Bajaya, Bajaya Shahi, Bajaya Shahi. He's dubbed the memory king of Nepal. He's basically, I think from what I've read, claiming that he can memorize a thousand page book in under 10 minutes. Okay, so this is all in Nepalese. I don't understand it, but no, don't tell me he's gonna memorize this book. First of all, I wanna know where this book comes from. Who gave it to him? How was it selected? I also wanna know is that book legit? Are all the pages different? Is it an actual book or is it a gimmick book for a mentalist shilling of this type? Who's this guy on the left, right? And then how is he gonna recall it? I don't know if they're explained in Nepalese here, but for me, it's not clear. Now let's watch him actually memorize the book. They have chosen a more obnoxious size book. <laughs> I would have been impressed with like a thin book. I guess the, the first two pages don't count. No. Okay, and he just ripped a page. Oh, wait a minute. Did he just he just ripped the page and then looked through the rip to the page before it. Not the page he ripped. To be honest, uh, I don't even really need to watch more of this. This is uh, this is a demonstration to, in my opinion, take advantage of people who don't know any better to believe. Um, this is, well, he's not even looking at the pages completely. It doesn't look like he's even processing both sides. And like I said, when he ripped the page, he like totally ignored it. And then what's, what's, what's the things he's saying? Is that even Nepalese or is it just an act, right? To make it seem like he's processing so fast. All right, let's fast forward to where he recalls it here. Okay, so here's the other red flag is, is he's recalling something. This is supposed to be a one take thing, but like, I have no idea what he's doing over there. For someone to do something so incredible, if you really could do it, then you would want to make sure that your video captured every possible question that anybody could have to doubt you, right? And I have a million doubts. So I think with a lot of these things, and I've seen a lot of hokey things with memory, people claiming things that are a sham. If it's too good to be true, most likely is. And for all the years of memory championships that have existed, for people who have worked their tail off, and for the people who are even in way better than I am, who are the top, the world champions, they can't even do anything close to this. And that's the best, right? So who is this guy? I've never heard of him before. This is just recently. No, this is absurd. I give this a thumbs down on the Nelsonometer. This is fake. I'll tell you that right now. My gut, everything tells me it's fake. I don't know enough about mentalism or people who, you know, it's a very common mentalist act to memorize a book, but it's a magician kind of mentalist act. And there's different techniques on how to do that. I don't know too much about it, but um, I think, for example, you have books that have all the same pages. You memorize one page and then it doesn't matter what page you get. I don't know if that's happening here. Another thing you could do is have something in your ear. I see his ear right here. It doesn't look like it. What do I know? From what I understand, a lot of those earpieces, you can get them really tiny, really deep in your ear. They have to be fished out even. So who knows? Someone has this book and the information in it and um, is just relaying the information to him as he writes it out. That would be a very easy thing to fake. He may even have had another iPhone with pictures of every single page. You know, who knows? I couldn't see what he was doing there. He was hunched over in the distance. <sighs> hey man, the guy's, the guy's a showman. Okay. He's asking the host for some water for his fingertips so he can turn the pages faster. If there's anything, honestly, that I've been impressed with, it's how fast he can turn the pages. Oh, he needs some more water. Oh. You've got to raise that concentration of that voice to make sure that people know that you're memorizing harder. All right, I've had enough of that guy. Um, but I will say this, Vijaya, Vijayi, let's call him BJ. BJ, I invite you to my channel. Let's do an interview, me and you, nobody else. 
and I'll come up with some memory tests that probably will pale in comparison to this. This looks really hard, so whatever I quiz you on will probably be easy for you. But I would love to have you on my channel. Prove me wrong. I love to be proven wrong, okay? I would love for this to be true, in which case I think I'm out of a job, but come show the world. I have a lot of viewers who would love to see you do your thing, quizzed by a memory expert. Let's move on. I love this. This is this is one of my favorite. I've seen this. This is one of my favorite videos. So let's see. You reverse it. So she okay. shuffles. No. With both hands. The okay. crazy thing about him is I know that when he does these fumbling, really muddled shuffles, it's actually he knows what he's doing. It's 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 someone on purpose. I think we have it now. Yeah, good, good. But geez, so this here, looks really mixed up. So nice, since he's nice. gathered the cards, let's see. So now. So he's doing something here. Oof. Well, maybe he's flipping the cards, but I, I think he's also ask, probably memorizing or even ordering cards a certain so way. Out when I miss, of course, but I, I love it. So now I will do Interesting. It. He didn't do too much there from what I could tell. Ace of diamonds, yes. Yeah. Two of diamonds. I do it quick now. Uh, he's three. Got such a weird grip on the cards. I wonder three like diamonds. how he's... Yes. And he's four. Yeah. Like even if I were to do I this with actual memory six. techniques, I'd have to say, okay, yeah. here it is, and then pull it out. But he's just kind of like, I don't know how he's, how he's doing it. So next card will be, was it five? five. Yeah, I, I, I will reverse it face up here. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Six. Six with a thumb. <laughs> Now he's just showing off. This is awesome. Seven. Yes, I do this. I know where it is because I picked the four and then I do this. Yeah. Right? Oh. Eight. I'm pretty certain he can't see. But this is, um, and again, I can't, I, I honestly don't know how much memory is involved here. Um, my card magician friends out there, please chime in. Right. But I yeah. would guess that there's not much yes, it, memorization it unless it's a stacked deck. He's pre-memorized it, but then how did he... Yeah. That shuffle looked Correct. really oh. messy. Yes. It okay. didn't look like it was fake. Yeah. Jack, you sweet with Jack? Yeah. Jack of diamonds, correct? Yes? Yeah. <laughs> and nice. Queen, queen with misdirection. <laughs> misdirection. Ah, that's good, man. Yeah. And then, king. The last one, king. After exact five seconds. Yeah, five. Five <laughs> seconds. Five. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Check it. <laughs> yes? King of Diamonds. Oh. Go. That's awesome. And actually, maybe I should try it. I'm no magician, but I could try the memory version of it. Let's give it a go. All right, so I got my blindfold here. I got some cards. Just to show you, it's all mixed up, but I will shuffle it again. Now, what am I gonna do? I can't do all the little flourishes and stuff like that. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm a magician at all, but I'll show you it's not too hard to actually memorize a deck pretty quickly and then pull out the cards in that ascending order. So let's maybe do the, I don't know, well, the diamonds, just like he did. I've actually never done this before, so let's try. So first things first, let me memorize. Okay, I think I got that. Let me, uh, one more time. Okay, 
All right. Okay, I'm not as charming, but here we go. We're gonna start with the Ace of Hearts. Oh shoot, I did the hearts. I said I was gonna do the diamonds, my bad. I'm gonna do the hearts. Um, I think this is an ace. Yep, I'm gonna put that here. Two hearts. Three hearts. Four hearts. Okay, five of hearts, that's an easy one. It's right here. Nope, sorry. Just kidding, it's this one. Six of hearts. Shabam. Boom. Shazam. Yep. Okay, we're almost there. Jack of hearts. There it is. Queen of hearts. And then finally, the king of hearts, which should be right here. Now, that might have all been wrong, but let's see. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hell yeah! All right, look at that. Let me put that here. Ace, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Take that, Lenart Green. Okay, you did that a little smoother, more charisma, faster. Uh, that's probably not too impressive at a TED talk, but. If you think about what I was doing, I think it's pretty impressive. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. This was kind of a fun little video to make. I should probably do more because there's tons of videos that I would love to give commentary to. And uh, again, that's the offer stands for Mr. BJ. Um, would love to have you. I'm a big fan of Nepal. I've been there many times to, to climb. So um, let's have a chat, buddy. Anyways, please like, subscribe. I think I should be hitting 100K subscribers at this point. I don't know how that happened. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I am out.